one of my favorite ways to experience art is actually being in it, if that makes sense, being in an immersive experience. Welcome, welcome to one of my favorite places in the world, if not favorite, London, which I am very grateful to call home. And today is very special. It's full of lights, it's cold, but who cares? The city is full of lights. If you ever come, come to Thames River, enjoy the lights. And today is very, very, very special because we're going to a lights exhibition at Lux in Strand. I have no clue what to expect, I'm super excited, some wonderful artists are displaying their latest pieces and it's all about how we as humans perceive light, don't know more, so let's check it out, but for now, enjoy the London Live! an artistic day a bit of an exhibition day which is so amazing because London obviously like all other countries and cities has been on lockdown and you know we couldn't do what we always wanted to do and I for once I love art I love it uh, you know being around art I love seeing art and one of my favorite ways to experience art is actually being in it if that makes sense being in an immersive experience so today we're at Lux in London, 180 Studios exhibition, and it's all about light. I do love me some art connected with light. I'm going to name down below one of my favorite artists, <laughs> Olafur, don't remember his surname, but he's all about shapes and lights and oh my god, amazing. And this just reminds me of it. There's a lot of basically storytelling about light and how light is perceived by people and what happens when one of the top artists in the world bring together their ideas and brains and create experiences connected with light super excited to check it out let's go inside shall we My thoughts on the exhibition very interesting very very interesting i love again like art that like you can immerse yourself in 
so my favorites and i'll link it down below whoever you want to follow you should just look at the exhibition there's all these artists wow but my favorites were definitely universal everything the walking man i mean how cool how simple yet how realistic what's going on you just want to have it on the loop at home next one was a gentleman called Rafik Anadol and he created this beautiful kind of immersive like sea that you can sit in and then he created amazing kind of breaking down all the colors and all the movement from all the classics paintings of people and nature and it was just this fabulous kind of granulated world of movement I really loved at the beginning when I was kind of exposed to these beautiful kind of almost flower-like LED screens and they were all kind of like flexed, so curved, which is very rare still to see to be fair. And they were all kind of moving slowly and kind of looking at me with beautiful lights. So I was thinking how cool would it be to have a lamp at home that can change colors and patterns and whatever like I guess that's the future right but anyways I'll link it all down below it was wonderful go follow these people even if you can't access London or the exhibition you can just see what they create because it's inspiring and keep the lights on see you next time